Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. China's solar industry is enjoying something of a rebound. Orders over the past six months have picked up with strong domestic demand as well as from Japan leading the way. China's solar panel makers and by extension global producers have long suffered from low prices brought from production out supplying demand. Now, whether the market for panels will continue on this upswing is anybody's guess, but some manufacturers have already responded by cranking up capacity in the face of only modest price hikes. Reuters issued a report saying a splurge of public money is behind the current surge in demand for solar panels. The report says Chinese firms are racing to develop multi-billion dollar solar generating projects in the Gobi Desert and other areas of China's north and northwest. Beijing has been eager to soak up the panel supply glut that has forced several major players into bankruptcy by offering even more support to build more solar farms. What's still lacking, however, and is the same story with wind power, is a more efficient means of getting that energy to the electricity-hungry areas in the east. Senior executive at Trina Solar, Sun Hai Yen, says the key to sustainable expansion is whether the Chinese government is determined enough to boost solar generation. Sun says China already boasts solar manufacturing capacity of about 45 gigawatts, enough to meet all the global demand this year. Chinese media states that the world's largest solar manufacturers like Trina, Jinko Solar, Yingli Green Energy, as well as Canadian Solar, Sharp and U.S. SunPower are in the process of adding around 3 gigawatts of production capacity. Reuters says that industry officials worry that the growth in generation capacity will put more fiscal pressure on Beijing and Tokyo and force them to cut subsidies which will then hit demand. Reuters says this is the cycle that previously hit solar makers in Germany, Spain and Italy. There is often a disconnect between the goals set in Beijing and on the ground in the provinces of China, where officials want to ramp up production in their jurisdictions. Leaders in Beijing have been trying to consolidate the sector and permanently close what some refer to as zombie plants. These are factories currently sitting idle, but could bring production back to life at any time, making many in the industry nervous. What's giving the industry some hope is Beijing's goal to quadruple solar generating capacity by 2015 and Japan's increased appetite for panels since the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011. Last year, China became the world's largest market for solar panel after it installed 6 gigawatts in industrial-sized solar farms and 2 gigawatts from smaller-scale efforts such as rooftop installations. This year, officials talk of adding 14 gigawatts. Reuters reports that the price tag for installing 35 gigawatts of solar capacity would cost around $50 billion, plus additional subsidies given to solar panel producers under long-term purchase agreements. Reuters reports that in the last few weeks, Chinese solar panel makers have made a number of announcements to develop solar farms. For example, Trina says that they will build a one gigawatt solar farm in northwestern China's Xinjiang region, where they will also produce panels. Not to be outdone, Shunfeng Photovoltaic, which is buying bankrupt SunTech Power, announced they're investing upwards of $13 billion into several 10 gigawatt projects. They expect solar farms to become a key part of their business as they would form a stable source of demand for their products. Beijing is reportedly buying electricity from solar farm investors at up to 1 yuan or about 17 cents per kilowatt hour for up to 20 years. These are attractive terms that offer a relatively predictable annual return of more than 10 percent. So far, solar power only accounts for a small proportion of total installed power capacity in China, the world's largest energy user, of which about two-thirds is still fired by coal. Coal use is still growing, but its share of China's energy mix is in decline and is gradually being overshadowed by wind, water, and the sun. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network, China's first and only privately owned English language broadcast media. Our full episode can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz wire. In just a moment, we'll continue with more insight 
into the big picture of China's economy.